Uh, hey, so I think I finally learned how to line my lips and I wanted to help you. Um, okay, so maybe I'll throw some compilation shit in here or something, but um, I've definitely overlined my lips for a very long time. And yes, despite the fact that I have like relatively full lips, some of them are like really embarrassing. You know, when you look back, you like change your, your makeup technique and you look back and you're like, what was I doing? <laughs> um, I'm at that stage right now. But anyway, I feel like I've finally learned how to like line my lips and I wanna share with you how. Uh, so first I just wanted to say that something that I do like to do is kind of like, not make them look huge, but just enhance them a little bit. That's kind of what I'm doing with all of my makeup. Like I contour my nose because I apply bronzer and contour around the rest of my face and I want everything to look cohesive. And when I just have like a flat lip, it doesn't look cohesive to me. So if you're a beginner and you're like really lost about how to line your lips, the best thing to do is not start with your lip liner. It's to start with your lipstick. Uh, it's going to make things a lot easier if you're someone who likes to use um, something that's a little bit more matte or even satin. If you prefer a cream lipstick or a shiny lipstick or something like that, uh, it's very difficult to go with, in with a lip liner afterwards. So just keep that in mind. But if overlining or at least cheating your lip line a little bit is something that you're trying to achieve, then you definitely wanna stick with something that's gonna be like a little bit more on the matte side. It doesn't have to be like ridiculously dry. It just doesn't need to be super, or it shouldn't be super shiny because it just makes like your actual lip line more obvious. And like I said, it's also difficult to create that kind of like definition with your lip line. Er. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start off with a lipstick. Now this is actually a lip uh, crayon, but um, this is the Revlon Colorstay Matte Light Lip Crayon. I'm gonna be using the shade Take Flight, this color. Um, so all I'm doing with this is not lining my lips. All I'm, all I'm gonna do is, and you can use any matte lipstick. I'm just gonna fill in my actual lip line. So I'm literally just going to, and it doesn't have to be perfect, fill in within my lip line. So if you're a beginner and you're super confused about how to line your lips, starting off with just filling inside your lips is a good way to start. Now, we can create the shape because this to me looks so undone and weird. Like this looks so undone and weird compared to the rest of my makeup, to me. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I feel weird. So something that I also have is a double lining. So this part of my lip is part of my lip, but it doesn't have color, if that makes sense, which makes lining kind of difficult. So when you start to line your lips, something that you need to keep in mind is like, what are you trying to achieve? Are you just trying to like create more of a line, more definition um, and something for like the lip to stay within, like the lip product to stay within uh, and to like avoid feathering or something like that. If so, then you basically just want to use your lip liner to kind of like sharpen these edges. But if you're trying to create more dimension to your actual lips and you want to make them look like more full and dimensional like you do with the rest of your face and all the other makeup that you apply. You wanna kind of like think about the shape that you're trying to create. So what I like to do is kind of start at my cupid's bow and go up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go above my cupid's bow just a little. I'm using um, Milani 04 All Natural Lip Liner. And then I like to kind of accentuate sort of this, like a heart shape. I love a heart shape. So I do the same thing with my lips. It makes them look a little bit more pouty. So I'm gonna go just outside that line, the top of my cupid's bow. And then when I start to line this area, I'm holding my pencil pretty flat and I'm going, I'm like holding it in the center to do my cupid's bow. And then I'm taking it like this at an angle and I'm just going to drag it like that around my lip. And then as I get closer to the inner or the corner of my lip, I'm gonna meet it with the actual corner of my lip. Okay, so can you see how that just kind of like creates a little bit of a lift right there, right in that area. And then you can kind of like lift it as much as you want. This lip liner is also like maybe a tiny bit cooler toned and ever so slightly darker than the uh, lip product that I applied. Now for my lower 
lip. I'm going to go just underneath that lip line. And I'm gonna basically like follow this whole um, double lining. Pulling it in a little bit tighter as I get to the outer corner once again. Which again is just going to create like a little bit of a pout. So you can see the difference in the shape. It creates a little bit more dimension and definition to my lip compared to this. Like on this side, it kind of looks like my lip is a little less three-dimensional and it's just kind of like curling in, you know? This looks like I'm actually lining my lip, in my opinion. And I think it's because I have a double lining. I have a like a beveled lip line, basically. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, all right guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful in some way, especially for all of my beginners out there. Uh, don't worry about it though. If you feel like you, if you fucking love overlining your lips like crazy, just do it. Uh, the reason that I did it was because I loved it <laughs> back in the day, you know? Now I don't, tastes change. So however you prefer, just do it, you know? Uh, but if you're someone who, I don't know, maybe you just feel like you haven't been able to nail it, or for all of the reasons that I listed, you're like a little bit confused or you just, I don't know, you haven't been able to get it. Uh, hopefully this helped. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to help you further. I don't know if you just heard that, but my wrist just cracked like 25 times. That was gross. Um, I'm dying, <laughs> so old. Uh, all right guys, thanks for watching.